Hello and welcome to the seventh episode of Grammar TV for 2020. Your favourite hosts have been brought back by popular demand. I'm Grace Robertson. And I'm Lucky Dean. Lucky, do you know how many rubber bands it takes to implode a watermelon? I don't actually, but during National Science Week, Mr Kent provided students with the opportunity to find out. Let's take a look. As a part of Grade 8 Science, Mr Kent did an experiment to see how many rubber bands would cause a watermelon to implode. They tested this with a 12 kilogram watermelon and a 10 kilogram watermelon. Some people had a crack at guessing how many rubber bands it would take. 301. 530. 256. 269. 201. 256. 270. 285. In the end, it took 390 rubber bands to explode Watermelon 1 and 461 to explode Watermelon 2. Thanks to Mr Kent for this great experiment. Thanks Amy for that story. Last Friday, the grade 10s were lucky enough to have their formal. We had an awesome night and made lots of special memories. On the 21st of August, the annual Year 10 formal was held at the Tail Race in Riverside. Despite the COVID restrictions of no dancing, the grade enjoyed a fun night emceed by Ange Nakuma and Jarvis Henderson. Our appreciation goes out to Mrs Hoysler and the formal committee for organising the event, to Millie Gutwin and Lockie Pohan for their entertaining speech on the journey of our grade, to the Tower Race staff for providing quality service and to all the teachers that joined us on the night. Thanks Grace for that. As most of you would know, the Grade 12 charity this year is MND. Millie interviewed Molly and Lucy for an update on MND Froze. So on Friday of week 8, the 11th of September, we're going to be hosting a Big Freeze inspired event with a handful of teachers. Um, stay tuned, we'll release more information about who will be involved. Um, and it'll most likely be a plain clothes day as well and we'll have like little stalls where you can buy the book bags that we're selling and maybe the socks if there's any left. So stay tuned for more information. <laughs> Thanks Millie. On the 5th of August, Launceston experienced snow for the first time in 99 years. In case you missed the thousands of Snapchat and Instagram stories of the event, Catherine has put together some highlights of the day. There's no way that happened. Snow much fun was shared. Well, that concludes today's episode. Thanks for joining us. Make sure you subscribe and like and we'll see you guys next time. Run, 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 run.